Group raises alarm over foreigners' arrival to Kaduna from neighboring countries for planned protest. A group made a belt forum, MBF Kaduna State is a larger than report reaching the executive has indicated that foreigners from northern neighboring countries had already arrived in Kaduna State ready to join the demonstration and make it violent. The group, however, kicked against the move, saying it would jeopardize the safety of the event and compromise the message of the demonstration. According to the communique of the forum's second executive meeting made available to newsmen on Wednesday in Kaduna. According to them, while the Kaduna State chapter of the MBF acknowledges the peaceful demonstrations legitimate and necessary over the current hardship phase of the country and the need to draw government attention, the involvement of violent sponsored foreigners has raised genuine security concerns to the chapter. Consequently, the firm advised all the youth from the Middlebet resident in Cardinal State to refrain from participating in the protests, not only over security and safety concerns, but not to be used to achieve the curious objectives of the sponsors. A youth known for their orderliness, civility and discipline must not be associated with inappropriate acts. The security situation has been reported to the national president on the MBF, Dr. Beatrice Pogo, who is currently gathering feedback from other states of the Middle Belt before issuing an official position on behalf of the entire Middle Belters. Earlier, the communique signed by Yusuf Solomon Dabaki, Public Relations Officer PRO, Cardona State Chapter, MBF, stated that a meeting was chaired by Chairman of MBF, Cardona State Chapter, Colonel Luca Biniat, who relayed the congratulatory message congratulatory and goodwill messages of the president of the FBF, Dr. Pedris Pogo, to the newly elected ESCO of the Cardona State Chapter. The Middlebird Forum MBF Cardona, Cardona Chapter held its second executive meeting yesterday in Cardona. The meeting was chaired by Comrade Luca Biniat, chairman of MBF Cardona State Chapter. Biniat relayed the congratulatory and goodwill messages of the president of the MBF, Dr. Beatrice Bogo to the newly elected ESCO of the Cardona State Chapter. According to him, Dr. Pogo regards the Cardona State Chapter as very critical in the scheme of the MBF. Bearing in mind the strategic location in Nigeria and its cosmopolitan nature that accommodates a huge array of middle belters, a key item on the agenda was the outreach to over 40 ethnic nationalities represented in the various social, cultural, ethnic groups from the 14 Middle Belt state resident in Kaduna State and other 57 ethnic nationalities indigenous to southern Kaduna, which make up the MBF Kaduna State branch. The meeting, which was attended by 22 out of 27 ESCO members, agreed that it was time members of the Middle Belt resident in Kaduna State unite as a common front in the interest of their well-being, the progress and development of Kaduna State and Nigeria as a whole. With the permission of the National Working Committee, NWC of the MBF, Barista Catherine Doso, issue from Benue State, has nominated to serve as the legal advisor of the MBF Kaduna State Chapter. There was also an initiative for an upcoming Middle Belt Cultural Festival for Middle Belters resident in Kaduna State, for which a committee was set up to kick up the, pro the process. It is headed by the organizing secretary of a chapter, Honorable Ezekiel Babakarik. Babakarik, the aim is simply to celebrate the region's rich cultural diversity, taking a break from lamenting the adversity that the Middle Belt has been plunged into for years. During the meeting, concerns were raised about the planned peaceful protest scheduled for August 1st to 10th, 2024. Reports reaching the ESCO indicated that foreigners from northern neighboring countries had already arrived in Kaduna State ready to join the demonstration to make it violent. If so, that would jeopardize the safety of the event and compromise the message of the demonstration. While the Cardinal State Chapter of the MBF acknowledges that peaceful demonstration is legitimate and necessary over the current hardship phase of the country and the need to draw government attention, 
The involvement of violent sponsored foreigners has raised genuine security concerns to the chapter. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Even if there are any groups or whatever, da, 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 whatever what are they supposed to do? Hmm? Let me remind Kaduna State Governor. Um, what is his name now? I have not, have not grown fond of the name <laughs> since I refer was the Governor of Kaduna State. But Kaduna State Governor should tighten his seat belts. After all, Kaduna has been known as a place where insecurity has, you know, has always lingered around. So I want to believe that part of his so-called agenda is to make sure Kaduna State is safe. And I don't want her to believe that he's wanting to make Kaduna State safe with, you know, federal government uh, police. Uh -huh. I want to believe he's putting things in place so that state-wise he can be able to deal with them. Like um, this man, the late governor, the late former governor of Ogo State. Is it Ogo State or Ondo State? Ondo State, rather. I carry the logo, bless his soul. You know, he did his best. He did not wait for federal government police to come and help him. So as somebody who knows that insecurity is always lingering, the only way to do it is to tackle it head on and don't give the insecurity a chance to come and dwell in Cardona State. So he's the one that's supposed to be calling out, you know, call and call his attention, see you, see what is going on. Hmm? If not, if you ask me, this is looking like a propaganda to just put in still fear. Even if it is right, people will never believe that these people. People will never believe them. Okay? President Tinubu did not favor full animals, especially on the issue of restructuring, resource control, and local government autonomy, ETC, CBN, and NPC shakeup. In this kind of time, this is what you're saying. At this point, have you heard anybody come out and say, uh, Tinubu did not, uh, he no favor us. He no favor us. You know, favor us, you know, put us at this type of time. We are no longer talking about politics here. Eh? Politics is no longer what we're discussing. We're discussing about good governance. How those people have been treating us over the years. How they have been living a life of affluence and prosperity and be giving us crumbs. Not even giving up leftovers. So. Not the one we cook with, not the one we then cook with the inside pots. Make I can't leave this English where they speak. Eh? Not the one we be say then cook, it remains inside pot too. The crumbs we be say then eat, the one we then eat way for from their table. Then they give us. So, no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Hopefully, they will not return. Hopefully, they will not turn it into religion. They can be funny. My own is like, people are not even really going to believe them. Even this is true. And this is a sad thing because they bring this upon themselves. All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy.